In this video I'm going to show you how to work with page layout. Now page layout is used to get your page ready for printing. So if you go to the page layout screen, you will see all the different options. So under each option, you'll see a mark like this. So there you'll see more options. You don't see it everywhere, but if you do see it, you can click on it and you can see more options. So this is on all the toolbars. So let's go through these setups because this is effectively printing setups. So the first one is the page. So you can either print your page in portrait or landscape. You can adjust the scaling to say on how many pages do you want this to print or how big do you want this to print. So if I say fit to one and one, it's going to print to one page. So every single thing on this spreadsheet of mine will print to one page. So remember this setup is only done per sheet. So you can obviously select all of them together and do a setup and it will be the same for all of them. The next one is the margins. So this, as you can see in the picture, it will set the margins on the bottom, the top, the left and the right. So you can change it. And you'll see changes. So this will change the, the way this looks. Or you can set the center of the page, either horizontally or vertically. So there's, there's a nice options there to play with. Then the header or footer. Now you can either create your own header, you can say where it should be, or you can create the custom one. So the custom one, there's a few interesting ones there. So either you can put in text, which is either left, center, or right, or all of them. You can insert the page number. You can insert the number of pages. You can insert the date. You can insert the time. Even the file path. You can even insert the file name, sheet name, a picture, which might be your logo. Or you can insert another picture. So can you see all the options you can use for your header? And your footer is exactly the same. You can insert all of these options as well. So there's different options here. You can either choose which one is the first page. You can choose which ones is odd and even pages. So that's nice options to use. And then the last one is the sheet. So you can say what is your print area. If you only want to print a specific place. You can say for every single page that we're printing, I want to print the headings. So I'm going to select the rows to repeat or select the columns to repeat. So on every single page, this will be there. So if you've got a page that's very long to the right, you will use the rows to repeat. If you've got a page that's very long to the bottom, you will use the columns to repeat. And then you can choose to print the grid lines. You can choose black or white, the quality. You can print comments. So this is where you select comments to print. And we'll show you later how to do comments. And you can even choose the page order to print. And then once you're done, you can do a print preview. And it will show you. At this stage, we're not printing every, anything. So effectively, that's where you find your printing setup. So a lot of people struggle with getting this. Because they don't know about this little block there on the right-hand corner. So that is where you find it.